Uh, January 1988 CS in Las Vegas, I found Tetris. It looked like, what, so what? Come on, this is, it's so simple. And then I came back and played it again, and then I went away. And by the time it was the fifth time I came back to the same game and played it again, I realized, I'm playing this game, I'm kind of hooked on this game, you know? And I was hooked on it to the point where I wanted to put the high score on that machine. And I, I thought, well, the simplicity of the game shouldn't be the reason why I say no to this game. In fact, it should be the reason I say yes to this game. We published Tetris that Christmas. And I added a bunch of things to the game. I, I, uh, I added the concept of getting points for clearing a line that didn't exist in the original game. <laughs> okay. So we need to have an infrastructure in Hawaii that helps, comp helps young people make new companies and then, and then our job is not only to do that but to provide them with angel funding and venture capital funding so that they can grow in Hawaii and they don't have to leave or they don't get swallowed up by somebody else. So then we have an ecosystem. Uh, so, it, and it really doesn't matter if they pass or fail. You know, for me, I've had a lot of failures in my life and they're all really, really valuable lessons. You know, I used to surf and when do you surf? You don't surf if there's no waves, <laughs> right? So, so, so you got to start paddling just when the time is right and then, and then take off when the wave is cresting. That's the, that's the right time to take off. So you've got to watch the industry. You've got to watch what's going on. And when you see a set coming in, you pick your wave and then you start paddling when it's the right time. And it's a little scary. It's a little scary, but in general, you don't want to spend too much energy paddling because if you spend too much paddle, you, you just run out of energy. You've got to get up on that, on that wave and it's a, just a critical time and you saw I've done it a number of times now, so, I, so now I'm a surfer. And it, to be a surfer, you have to know when to stand up. That's what it is. When to stand up on your own two feet, that's pretty cool actually. <laughs>